we go, friends. Doc South with another interesting uh, moment from the uh, road trip, the, the small road trip I took with uh, my brother Ed yesterday. Again, I'm on, uh, uh, well, I got a vacation week coming and you know, so I've, I've been on vacation from the uh, Acme. And, well, a, a lot of it I've been doing chores, but uh, I'm trying to figure out my taxes and stuff. <laughs> and I'll tell you, that ain't so easy. As you get older, I guess it gets harder uh, to figure out. But uh, yesterday I, I took a welcome break and uh, my brother and I rode around uh, Central Jersey, just kind of viewing the sights. Stopped at a White Castle, you know, yeah, oh, <laughs> it's like that. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. And uh, we dropped in at a, a place where we uh, used to work out of. Uh, we uh, we were in the roofing industry, uh, my my father's business, and we we had these rather large trucks, and we uh, we managed to uh well we found a, a yard uh where we could where we could um what would the word be park them overnight and uh, they were relatively secure there and we'd um yeah and it turned out that the place repaired garbage trucks that's what they do and they're good at it they've been doing it for decades now and well you can imagine they're surprised when uh, Ed and I dropped in uh, to the office to see what was shaking after almost, gosh, probably 20 years. Uh, Eddie, I think, actually sold oil to them on occasion. Um, and uh, back when he was an oil salesman. So they, it was like old home week. We're sitting there reminiscing uh, who's doing what. Sadly, some some of the folks we used to know had passed away or uh, left the company one way or another, but it was a hard working spot. They had, uh, they basically a, a broken garbage truck would come in and they'd fix it and uh, send out the bill. <laughs> and uh, you can imagine. Well, I got to thinking, well, I, I got to thinking how with the uh, uh, coronavirus uh, outbreak we've been going through, Cleaning garbage trucks might not be uh, cleaning and repairing garbage trucks might not be the safest thing a fella can do. I would imagine just getting a cut if you uh, uh, you know if you're working on the inside where all the trash is, or uh, gee, working on even the uh, steering wheel. You know, if the driver wasn't wearing gloves, even if he was wearing gloves, the gloves could he or she was wearing gloves. The you know, you could get some of the virus on the uh, steering wheel or the door handles. It was probably uh, a pretty dangerous uh, task to uh, uh, to do. And uh, sitting there in the office as we uh, barged in to say hello was another gentleman, big, burly guy, um, looked like a tough customer. <laughs> and it turns out uh, a very nice fella, thank God, uh, and he was one of the, uh, somehow or another, he was well-placed at the city of Newark um, in the uh, sanitation department. And if I heard him right, his job was to, one way or another, oversee uh, the repair of the garbage trucks and the maintenance of them uh, for, the, uh, for the city. I'm thinking, whoa. Yes, of course he had a mask on. I'm pretty darn sure he did. I seem to remember he did. Um, it's it, you know it's getting harder to notice if people have them on or they don't, isn't it? Yeah, uh, we had ours on. Uh, I had mine on anyway. And uh, but the guy, uh, I, I when I found out what he was doing, I said, "My God, so you're you're working down there?" And oh, I said, "Man," I told him how I ran into a paramedic from Newark who had really been through the mill one day. At, you know, he had walked into our supermarket early one morning and he had had a rough night uh, doing calls. And the, uh, the this gentleman who repairs the garbage trucks uh, said, yeah, he says, sure, though those boys are taking it, taking it on the chin. It's, it's tough on them. I said, how about you? I guess I see you've, you've gotten through okay. He says, yeah, but <clears throat> some of my guys have gotten sick. And uh, 
I didn't go on to say, you know, how, how it all fared with them. But, you know, you think about it, talk about an unsung hero. I mean, there he is. He and his crew, his crews, pretty much got to climb inside to take care of what might, um, they, they'd be all over the truck, uh, yanking and pulling on uh, this hunk of machinery, this compressor, this uh, hydraulic uh, lift device. Uh, he'd be, they'd be really, really taking a chance in there. You think about it. Oh, man. All through the summer and the fall when it was so hot, and I would imagine the bacteria would spread uh, spread better. And even in the winter when it's so darn cold and stuff, I, 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 I actually I told him I said I got to hand it to you. You're really doing, you're really doing something. You get right down to it. Bless your heart. He said, "Well, yeah, thank you." But he uh, he seemed to take it in stride. I think uh, even in the best of times, you probably got to be careful inside a garbage truck, um, or even working on the outside. Heaven knows what could be <clears throat> in some of them. Uh, you, you name it. <laughs> and, and I, I gotta, I gotta hand it to the guy. Talk about, and, and he, he took it all very stoically. He says, well, we're, we're doing a good job. People are, uh, you know, the trucks are rolling. I said, well, yeah, God, good for you. So I thought, yeah, Lord's prayer moment for him. Okay. And his crew, uh, our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever. So be it. I guess one thing you could do for your local garbage man is, I guess, make sure everything's secure. You know, use the the stronger uh, garbage bags if at all possible, and I guess don't fill them right to the top. And uh, if one breaks, maybe uh, uh, you know, stick uh, stick it in a in a better garbage bag. You know, don't yank it all out and everything. Gosh, you'll get stuff all over you. But maybe double bag it uh, if you have to. You yes, know, I I think that that'd probably be a good idea. But uh, what a what a neat guy, and yeah, heck of a smile. Uh, yeah, eventually he had his mask, I guess, off to say goodbye as we were leaving. And nice, nice fellow, nice fellow. Anyway, I'll see you later, friends. Thank you, and God bless.